I think that in a modern world, students have to learn how to communicate, not just through text, but through multiple modalities like visuals. We don't just find plain text anymore. It's usually accompanied by something else. My name is Emily Warshewski, and I'm an assistant professor in English and Composition at Seton Hill. I was attracted to teaching at Seton Hill because I did my undergraduate degree at a liberal arts institution, so I really value the one-on-one -on -one kind of environment, so I get to work very closely with my students in small classes. I was hired to teach at Seton Hill in part because of my experiences with and facility with teaching with technology, but I had the opportunity also in my first year here to enroll in the elite program where I learned some things that I had no idea about before, especially um, applications that were related to the iPad. I discovered the Comic Life app through the Elite program, through some experimentation I did with thinking about how I could apply what I had learned in that program to my own courses. So I had before used comics in small activities, but never really made it a big assignment because a lot of students were afraid of making them and there was no easy way to do it. Comic Life app is really flexible and simple to use. It's a drag and drop interface that allows you to stick in photographs, scanned images. You can add speech bubbles and captions. You can add fancy lettering for titles. The biggest strength of the app, I think, is that you don't have to be an artist to be able to express yourself visually through the app. I typically ask them to produce the comic first, and then they produced a written version of the story that they told. And a lot of times producing the comic really helped them streamline, like, what were the important points that needed to be discussed. The organization of an essay visually was something that was really important and a lot of students appreciated and took away from the class because of that. As modern communicators, students rarely are asked to produce something that's purely textual anymore. Things like comics and audio essays um, that involve multiple modalities are part of their lives already and as part of what they'll probably be producing as professionals. Um, so I think that it's important to bring that into the classroom, show them how to do that more effectively, and they really respond well to that. It's things they're familiar with and enjoy producing um, because it's the kind of things that they consume on a daily basis. And so I think that we're increasingly headed in that direction where text becomes less central and more of a you know, component that speaks to other components like images and sound. <laughs>